Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo and today is August 25th and Samsung just recently pushed off the latest software update to the Galaxy S21 series. Now this has been the update that I've been waiting for. I've mentioned this on Twitter that this update seems to be super late, but it is a very big and important one. So I just got done updating the phone. If you don't know exactly where you can find your updates, really all you gotta do is just go right inside of your settings on the very top right hand side. You're gonna scroll all the way down where it says software update then you go to download and install so this is the update that we just got done doing and you can see that it is actually very big usually every single monthly security update is right around 200 or 300 megabytes this one's over 1.1 gigs so it's 1128 megabytes of a size it does bring that August 1st security patch and the version ends in AUGQ now this phone is using the AT&T network this one is unlocked from Samsung Com. A lot of people always ask how I get my updates super early, and it's because I get it directly from Samsung as unlocked. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at everything that's brand new with this update. And the thing that told me that the update was here this morning is because I got a notification from the Galaxy Store that there was multiple updates to be done. And usually when this happens, that's usually sometimes when the latest monthly security patch update has been sent off. Now, because this one is over one gig, I know for a fact that there is a bunch of new versions of softwares and applications that Samsung doesn't tell us what is being updated, but I know in today's video we will be finding out some of those things. So we'll be taking a look at the Galaxy Home, Camera, Gallery, Fingerprint Reader, Face Recognition, Samsung Messages, and also Samsung Internet. But here you can see that there is 10 applications that was also updated along with this update. It's basically pushed out at the same time, which is Find My Mobile, uh, Secure Wi-Fi, Samsung Capture, Link to Windows, Media and devices, link sharing, photo editor, sound assistant, zoom, as well as clock face. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy as promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest software updates for your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So first let's head over and let's take a look at all these different new versions and services of applications from Samsung. So we're gonna first take a look at Samsung Home. We're gonna go inside of the settings settings. Now, originally the Samsung Home was 12.10715. This one is 12.10733. So there is a newer version of Samsung Home uh, that was given with this update. Now we're gonna take a look at the camera and originally it was 11.0038. This one is 11.00319. So there is a newer version of the camera and we can open it later just to see if there is any new, you know, orange little dot to let us know if there's been a, you know, a Samsung camera mode update. Uh, now we're gonna take a look over at the gallery. We're gonna see if there is a newer version there. So you just go inside of the information. Originally, this one was 121080. So this one's 121080. So there is no new gallery. Now we're gonna take a look at the fingerprint and face recognition. So we're gonna go to biometrics and security, more biometrics settings, security patch. Now originally for the fingerprint reader, it was 5101. So fingerprint is 5103. So it looks like we have a newer updated version of the fingerprint reader. Now for face recognition, it was 20115. So here is 202. 26. So it looks like we have a brand new uh, updated fingerprint reader. Same thing with a face recognition. Now we're going to head inside of Samsung Messages. So with Samsung Messages, I don't really use this. I usually use Google Messages uh, or Android Messages. But with this one, originally it was 12.160.13. This one is 12.210.15. So this one is a newer version of Samsung Messages as well. Now we're going to take a look at Samsung Internet. And this one originally was 14.2.3.4. This one's also 142314. So this one did not update. So out of everything we took a look at, there is no new version of Gallery or Samsung Internet, but there was a new version of Samsung Home, Samsung Camera, Fingerprint Reader, Face Recognition, and Messages. So now let's move over inside of the Galaxy Stores because we saw a bunch of different ones sitting there. And if you don't know exactly where you can find it, once you go inside of your Galaxy Store, top left-hand side, you're going to hit on that little menu button or those three little lines. You go to Update, and this is where 
we can find all these updates. So here is Find My Mobile. Uh, as you scroll on down, you can take a look that this one was pushed out actually two days ago on August 23rd. Uh, but this is where you can go through and you can hit on Update. You also have Secure Wi-Fi. Uh, here is your Samsung Capture. Link to Windows, Media and Devices. Link Sharing your photo editor. So that's probably one of the things that was, you know, even though the gallery wasn't updated, at least you have your photo editor inside of the gallery that has been updated. If you wanted to read exactly what has changed, you can click on update info and you can see what has been changed with a few of these. So there is your clock face, zoom, and then sound assistant. So now just for a really fun, quick reference, I'm going to go inside of the camera just because it is a newer version. I'm just going to see if there happens to be like an orange dot anywhere just to see, you know, what possibly has been updated or changed. And so I don't really see anything through here. So it could also be one of those things where, uh, you know, maybe it's a better, uh, you know, focus time or uh quicker shutter speed or you know pretty much anything dealing inside of the camera so sometimes they push off small little fixes for you know if there was autofocus issues things like that so uh, at least we got a newer version of camera face and fingerprint recognition but i hope you guys appreciate this video this has been the update that i've been talking about for a while on twitter if you don't follow me on twitter just make sure you follow me at jimmy is promo i'm also there on instagram as well as facebook and obviously here on youtube and if you guys appreciated this video make sure just give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later